Hi. <coughs> Let's try that again. Hi. Uh, welcome to GRD 280 Portfolio. This class is going to be a lot of fun, but it will be a lot of hard work. Make sure you're setting aside 20 to 30 hours a week for this class. Mark them on your calendar. Set that side a time. Don't Say that you might go to work during that time. Don't say that you might be available for a family thing during that time. Um, okay, that's all a lie. But you should set aside 20 to 30 hours. Remember, family comes first. Um, just be aware that you will need that time. Over the course of this portfolio class, you, um, you're you going to be spending a lot of time. There will be little or no new work. There's just not enough time. Um, in the first 12 weeks of class, you are going to be required to build out a business card that works for you so you can hand it out to people and get work or get into communication with people that interest you. A fully set resume. Again, you've probably already built these in other classes, but the resume is something that will give someone at one page, at a glance, to know everything that there is to know about you. We're going to build a print portfolio. It's going to require eight full campaigns, and a campaign is three or more related design pieces. So you are going to be talking about a minimum of 24 design pieces shown in there. Um, if you'd like, you can add a piece nine or ten if they are, say, uh, photographs or illustration, but they cannot work in your other pieces. Um, we will not be accepting any one-hit wonders in your portfolio. Everything must be three or more related design pieces. So be aware. Um, early on, we will be creating a contract where you, you are going to tell me uh, what pieces are going to be in your portfolio. This stops you from having uh, seven t-shirt design campaigns and then one logo. Uh, so we'll be able to work out together. If you're unsure what items are going to be in your contract, come and talk with me. This will all be based off of the three folders and the PDFs that you show to me or you bring to class. We will look at your work. We will have an understanding of what your best pieces are and which pieces are going to show the broadest range of your design capabilities. And I will be honest with you. You're going to build out your portfolio in InDesign. You're going to have a nice PDF of that, and we may even make uh, print-ready PDFs, or uh, not print-ready PDFs, we will do that, uh, but print portfolio designs. We've done it in the past. We'll probably continue to do so. You will have to make a fully online portfolio. You will be looked down upon if you are using Behance.net or Adobe.portfolio. Um, free sites make you look bad. Um, do you want to be hired as someone who has a portfolio that is built on a free site? Maybe because it's just nice to get hired. Um, but you will make more money if you have a personal, professional website as opposed to a free website that somebody else is hosting. So just take those ideas to heart. We'll be talking about it earlier. But at the end of 12 weeks, Fully online portfolio, print ready, print ready portfolio, resume, business card, and you will also put together um, a case study that will show all of your work on one project from beginning to end. All of your sketches, all of your InDesign work, all of your in progress work, everything, so that someone can tell at a glance what you do and how you do it. So. Um, 30 hours a week is a lot of time. I want you looking at other portfolios. I want you practicing and trying along the way. This is a chance to really set up your future. Four-year schools don't get this chance. You do. So just kind of be aware that it will cost you money. It will be difficult to turn in two campaigns every single week between the middle sections of this course uh, right up until the end. By the end of this course, your work will be judged by two industry professionals or industry professionals and teachers. 
Um, just kind of be aware. They're not going to pull any punches. They will tell you if your work is done poorly. They will tell you if your work is not really meeting a base standard. On the other hand, they may like your work enough that they want to uh, show your work to their boss and you could get hired. So just understand that along the way, there are many opportunities in here. We will be showing uh, job opportunities fairly regularly. In fact, there's probably one up now if you go look. Uh, also want to go ahead and just throw out there that the AIGA Student Portfolio Review will very likely be running this year. Um, student Portfolio Review is a good way for you to get in touch with AIGA, the uh, American Institute of uh, Graphic Associates. Anyway, um, Graphic Artists, my apologies, the association. Um, uh, AIGA is a great organization. They're all professionals. They know who's hiring. They're ready to hire and they're ready to meet you. I look forward to seeing your work. I want you to have a great semester. Uh, again, if you haven't already, just a reminder, this is a communication industry. You need to check your email twice a day once in the morning or the early afternoon, and again in the afternoon or the evening so that you can respond to people in a timely fashion. Um, if you are an I don't check email person, um, you know, you are probably going to move yourself slowly but surely into the I can't get a job person. Watch out for that, or I can't keep a job. Um, I want the best for you. Let's put our best foot forward, and I look forward to seeing you in class. Have a great week. Gone. One more thing. Um, please understand that if you are in a seated class, you will need to wear a mask to class. It is mandatory. If you are seen in the building without one, they will boot you out. Um, we will have masks in the classroom if you run from your car and you forget, but it is mandatory on campus. Um, we will be resuming in-person classes on the 18th, fingers crossed, um, but up until the 18th, due to the Omicron variant and the high spike based around people coming from Christmas and New Year's in close contact with one another and the high amounts, uh, we are doing virtual until then. So I'll see you. Look in the left-hand column. I don't know which side this video is going to show on. Um, look in your left-hand column, and you'll see in our collaboration area, there's a spot for virtual classes. I look forward to seeing your work. Have a great day. One other thing. If you do need to have any uh, in-person time, I will be in the ILC on South Campus in person Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Uh, the ILC closes at 7 o'clock. Um, Tuesday, I go in there about 3 or 4 till 7, and Thursday, 3 or 4 till 7. So I look very forward to seeing you in person and uh, helping you out if that's the kind of work that you need. Thanks. Hope you're all having a great week. And um, if you want to get in touch with me, there is also a virtual office hours that I am running via Teams first thing in the morning on Tuesday and Thursday. So if you are. Um, worried about an upcoming project and you want to get in touch with me, uh, I will have some virtual office hours. You can just text me right from Teams and we can chat asynchronously. Uh, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing your work.